news as we come on the air tonight out of Calhoun County. Sheriff Matthew Wade says this man you see here on your screen, Tony White, is wanted for kidnapping a 75 year old woman. We can confirm Betty Cobb, the woman who was kidnapped, is safe tonight. However, the man police say is her kidnapper is still on the loose and considered dangerous by police. And also from what we've learned, Stephen, when it comes to uh, what happened here, the sheriff says that it appears uh, that this man, Tony White here, um, somehow went to the woman's house and then um, they found her groceries and her phone and her keys inside her house and then some groceries in the parking lot. And then that's when uh, they reported her family reported her missing. And then that's when it eventually led them to her. And we do have the car up here. And we should point to this. What you are looking at is a silver Chrysler 300. The importance here is, is that police believe this may have been the car that the alleged kidnapper Tony White is in right now. You see the numbers in the right side right there. That is a license plate number for the car they are looking for. And as you see there, important to note, this is not the specific car that White is driving, but it would look similar to this one. You mentioned the groceries, Muriel. This all started and police were led to White after looking at surveillance video at the places they knew that she had been and she had been shopping. That's what led them to Tony White and to a house on South Wilmer Street. And they do say that uh, White has multiple warrants right now out against him, so he is considered dangerous. If you see him, do not approach him. Just call police immediately. And the disturbing details of her abduction and why we believe that this is a dangerous man, according to police, is that Cobb was found inside of that house that White was linked to on South Wilmer Street, duct taped in the closet. A 75-year-old woman. You can only imagine the feelings with her family right now who has been reunited with her. Again, this is a scene that's playing out across Anniston, that house on Chakalaka Road, the eastern part of the community, and South Wilmer in downtown Anniston proper where she was found. So an investigation spanning a large portion of Anniston tonight. And ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent is at that scene right now in Anniston, and we will have more from him later in this newscast. Of course, we'll continue to bring you updates as this story develops on air and online. You can download our free app for instant alerts sent right to your phone.